Start your engines. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get into uh, the uh, the next, next little topic. And this is mm. something that drivers, if you are I'm, not paying attention not to right now. I'm not laughing. <laughs> I'm not drivers, if you're, not tra- <laughs> if you're not tracking your miles right now, you really, really need to. Um, you know, there's plenty of different apps out there. You know, All right. The ride share guy, you know, recommends Stride. Um, mm-hmm. You know, you can try different different mileage tracking apps. If you are not tracking your mileage, you really need to, and you really need to do it uh, whenever you're online for any app because, you know, that's some sort of expense when you're doing it. So it's a mileage tracking app. You need that to be able to, in order to claim anything when you're doing your taxes for the next year. But some good news is the IRS is also going to be upping their standard mileage deduction mm-hmm. from 58 and a half cents to 62 and a half cents beginning on July 1st. And it's going to go through December 31st of yes. 2022. So the final six months of 2022 is going to have four cents more per mile when it comes to what you can write off for your taxes. So for all the people out there who are saying, well, four cents isn't going to do anything. Well, four cents, if you're driving a lot, you know, over six months worth of miles, that's going to add up. So that means that's more money that's going to stay in your pocket versus, you know, going back in taxes. So that's a good thing. You know, that's going to help help offset some of these higher costs when it comes down to it. Again, just make sure you're paying attention. But the big news is what you see next to this. Now, those are the (laughs) per mileage I'm and losing my minute, shit today, bro. Um, huh? I'm losing my shit today. I'm laughing a lot. <laughs> this is pitiful. This is pitiful. Fuck, man. Oh god. I mean, seriously, look at this shit, man. Go ahead, Chris. God. So damn. these this is from Reddit. This is also taken from August of last year. So these rates might not be accurate, but these are the different market rates that you can see. So they're lower. Yeah, you can see that. <laughs> Some are actually under the standard mileage deduction currently as we speak. And LA, as LA. of, well, LA. in 10 days when they up it to 62 and a half cents, yeah. more markets are going to be underneath this mileage threshold. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. you can see right here, this is just the first screen that I have up of the different markets. So you can take the minute to take a look through, see if yours is on here, if it's accurate or not. Um, and then, you know, here is the second page of it. Again, if you want to check it out, just, you know, go on Google, type in, you know, Uber rates, Uber mileage rates or something, Reddit, and it should pop up there. Uh, these are just, again, screenshots taken directly from that. Um, yeah, we zoom, yeah, we, zoom think- we zoom, you got it right, buddy. The ride share driving has become the biggest tax loophole in the country now. <laughs> <laughs> Because we drive, we check, take the 62 and a half, and we don't pay any taxes, we may even get a refund. So right here, driving is like the best tax avoidance tool ever. 62 and a half cents a mile. We're driving at base rate at 60 cents a mile. Hey, DK, how do you figure out making 39 bucks an hour with 66, 60 and the 62 and a half for IRS deduction? I go like, holy crap. Look at these cities. Look at some of these numbers. Nashville, 57. Bloomington, 60. Uh, mm-hmm. Jacksonville 61, Kansas City 61, New York, Buck 10. Hello, New York. Um, <laughs> Atlanta 61. These are big cities, bro. Chicago 61, Sacramento 59. I'm like, really? Indy yep. 55, LA 60. All right, we're right there. We're the winner. Washington DC 60. You guys notice the bigger the city is, the fucking lower the fucking the base <laughs> rates are on these things. I'm like, wow. I mean, seriously, who in their right mind would start their car and drive at seven bucks a gallon in gas at 60 cents a mile while the IRS deduction is 62 and a half? Honestly, I I don't know. Please, people, stop driving, please. (laughs) I know you need the money, but you're losing money, man. You're losing it. I mean, I don't know. Just why? Go get a W-2 job or something until this shit gets better. Don't do Mm -hmm. it. Anyway, yeah, really. The one thing, though, that I want to know is how do they get away with giving drivers the lower amount of pay than what the standard mileage deduction <laughs> is. I don't know. Like, how do you, how do you actually, like, there, there's a couple in here, if you look, uh, like Sacramento is 58 and a half cents. Um, I don't know. You know, Redding's 59 cents. Like, are they actually good? Oh, no, here we go. Knoxville, Tennessee, 57 cents. So yeah. right there, that's. Oh, we got a winner. Hold on. We got a winner. Orlando, Florida, 54. <laughs> I just saw that too. And then Phoenix is 55. But Phoenix is also going 
uh, anybody who's in Phoenix, uh, you yeah, probably please. are going to be pretty Email happy me. soon because they're going to get rid of the uh, um, mm -hmm. the. Uh, I apologize. Surcharge, fuel surcharge, but they're going to be raising rates apparently. Mike. So Mike. we'll see. <laughs> okay, no, he says stop the curse. Okay, I will. Ap I apologize. I will not curse. This is like this is a kid's show. I'm not going to curse. Go ahead. <laughs> Semi. Because um, I'm pissed, yeah. bro. Look at this. Come on. But that that's the whole thing. It's like how how do you how do you actually pay under the standard mileage deduction? Like how do you get away with doing that? I, I I've know. never understood that. I don't know how they're able to do that. Luckily, in my market, it's sixty-seven cents per mile on Uber and seventy-one cents per minute or per mile on on Lyft. Um, so at least it's pretty decent over that that mileage deduction but still it's like how do they get away with with doing that that they doesn't make because any sense they can because they can That's yeah, it. they can know. because they can look at houston 60 cents a mile 12 cents a minute 12 cents a minute so let's take 60 minutes times 12 cents is seven dollars and 20 cents i mean for god's sakes people don't drive really there are plenty of jobs supposedly according to the federal reserve out there go get a 18 to 20 bucks an hour job this freedom and flexibility rhetoric is BS, okay? I mean, you're going to waste your car to a pulp. You're going to beat your car your brains into a pulp, and then you have nothing at the end of six months or a year that you're doing this. All right, thanks for watching. That short little clip was from our live stream, Show Me the Money Club with Sergio and myself. Tuesdays, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. Make sure you subscribe, turn on all notifications so you'll be notified when we go live, as well as all of our awesome content. Make sure to check out this video right here, which will take you to the entire live stream, or check out this video right there. All right, drive smart, everyone.